Welcome to Children's Sabbath School. Our lesson today is called Passing the Test. The Bible story today is about four friends and the food choices they had to make. Jesus is happy when we make good choices because we become closer to him. The memory verse is taken from Isaiah 7 verse 15. It says, reject the wrong and choose the right. And the message for our story is, we worship God when we choose good things. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us. Please help us to make good choices. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Passing the test. What is your favorite food? What is your favorite song? Are all of these the best choices for you? Daniel and his friends made a good choice. Daniel and three of his friends stopped and stared up at the huge and beautiful palace, but they weren't excited. In fact, they were very tired and very sad. Strangers in a strange country, they were captives of the king of Babylon. Once inside the palace, servants took the boys to big bathtubs. After their baths, a servant handed each one fancy new clothes and showed them to their new rooms. Dinner will be ready soon, the servant said. Daniel and his friends knelt beside their new beds. They prayed that God would help them be strong and choose good things in this strange country where people didn't worship him. Soon the servant called the new captives to dinner. Daniel and his friends followed him into the dining room. Delicious food covered the tables, food that came from the king's table and had been offered to idols. Daniel and his friends looked at one another with wide eyes. What should they do? This wasn't the kind of food they knew God wanted them to eat. Daniel went to the chief official in charge of all the captives. May my friends and I eat the kind of food our God has told us to eat, he asked politely. The official was afraid of Daniel's idea. The king ordered you to eat his food and drink and his wine, he answered. If you get pale and sick looking, the king will kill me for not doing my job. Daniel thought about the problem. 
he spoke to Melzar, the guard appointed to care for Daniel and his friends. Will you test us for ten days, he asked Melzar. Give us only simple food to eat, fruit and vegetables and nuts and grains, and give us water instead of wine. You can see how we look after ten days. Melzar agreed to the test. For ten days he gave the boys simple food and water to drink. When the ten testing days were up, Daniel and his boys looked healthier than the boys who had been eating the king's food and drinking the king's wine. Melzar decided Daniel and his friends had made a good choice. He let them continue to eat the simple food. God blessed Daniel and his friends. He helped them learn all the things they studied in King Nebuchadnezzar's school. And three years later, when the king tested them, he discovered that Daniel and his three friends had learned more and were wiser than all the other wise men in his kingdom. Daniel and his friends had chosen good things for their bodies. What an awesome story! Daniel and his friends are taken captive and forced to live in Nebuchadnezzar's palace. When they are offered rich food and wine from the king's table, they decide to ask for simple foods and water. They ask the king's servant to let them eat and drink the things they know will keep them healthy and make them strong. The servant agrees to let them try simple foods for 10 days. At the end of that time, Daniel and his friends appeared to be healthier and stronger than any of those captives who drank wine and ate food from the king's table. They chose what they knew was best for them. What choices did Daniel and his three friends make? The correct answer is, Daniel and his friends chose to obey God. They chose to eat the kind of food that God had told them to eat. Good job, boys and girls. Making good choices tells God that we care about ourselves and about him. When we choose to eat foods that will keep us healthy, we are worshiping God by keeping our bodies healthy. God wants us to make wise choices in everything we do. It's time to pray. Let us say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, boys and girls. Good choices keep your body healthy. Good choices keep your mind pure and clean. When we make bad choices, they get in the way and keep us from being close to God. They make us do or think or say things that are displeasing to God. Do you want to worship and honor God with the choices you make? Next time you have a choice, you can remember Daniel and his friends and ask God to help you to do what's best. Remember, we worship God when we choose good things. Happy Sabbath and God bless you.